More and more African countries and regions are trying to attract new investors and businesses by using special agencies. Here in the Western Cape in South Africa, for example, Westgrow is such an institute. Niels Flaten is the CEO of Westgrow, and it is clear that he doesn't have any difficulties with making PR for his region. The Western Cape is one of nine provinces in South Africa, and the capital city is Cape Town. We have about 5.3 million people that live in our province, um, and it's important to remember that close to 3.5 million of those people live within the city of Cape Town. So it's an important proxy for, uh, for economic activity uh, in South Africa. But to attract new businesses and investors, it needs more than only summing up the existing companies. Our economy 15 years ago was a manufacturing and agricultural economy. And it's now transformed itself into a services economy. So close to 70% of our provincial GDP comes from services. And that's a very interesting story because what you have here in Cape Town is all of the listed um, insurance companies operating in the city. You have all the stockbrokers and many of the banks have regional offices here. The retailers are headquartered here. And typically we export wine, we export a large number of edible fruits, uh, fish, lobster. Uh, and what's very fascinating is that we export 60% of South Africa's bananas, yet they're not grown in this province. And the reason for that is that the supply chains come through the port of Cape Town and much of that produce is sent off to the fruit juice companies and the canning companies. So we've got some very powerful and very well established food companies as well. But to attract new businesses and investors, it needs more than only summing up the existing companies. I don't like to say this often, but the lifestyle that you have in the Western Cape is fantastic. You have very, very good schools. We have four uh, top universities in Africa, and in fact one of our, our universities, uh, the University of Cape Town's Graduate School of Business, two years ago dropped into the top 100 MBAs globally. Uh, we have very, very um, strong private healthcare here. We have infrastructure that works, broadband, highways. We've introduced new mass rapid transport systems. Okay, but what are the business opportunities for the Western Cape? I think there, in, in the food and agricultural sector, there's some great opportunities for setting up new um, food production plants, such as a canning company or, or, or getting involved with joint ventures here. Food security is going to drive the global economy in the next 15 years. And what can or does Westgro do to stimulate the Western Cape economy? Our agency has been charged with investigating the possibility of setting up an industrial development zone in a town which is uh, up the west coast. It's about an hour and a half drive outside of Cape Town. And within that industrial development zone, we're looking at the production of renewable energies. Uh, we're looking at uh, titanium, what we can do to, instead of just mining it, how can we benefit it? It's obviously a, a big oil, iron ore export port for us. So we will continue to, to look at those opportunities, how we can benefit more instead of just sending the, the resources um, out, out of the economy. Um, and then I think the, the current niche manufacturers will continue to enjoy the success uh, that they have.